today we're playing Lower Brick in the last game of the season in League 10. Next league. Next. Next. Next season, we're in League 10. Ah, guys what's up so it's the uh, last episode of the season so we're playing Laura Brick today uh, for the, the I think the third time this season and we've played them in the last time you were here in the League Cup final and since then we've played uh, two Since you were last year, we've played six games, including one friendly to make seven games. Um, we played AFC Blackpool and we won 3 1 with the likes of John Hunt, Tony Whitehead, and Liam McDavid scoring. We then played St. Helens at home. I think this one was the uh, a fan, away, a fan day, uh, which we, we smashed, and we won 5 1. Uh, they got a red card at the 81st minute. Again, likes of Tony Whitehead getting on the score sheet. Aidan Chippendale on there. Came around Creef getting a hat trick. Then we took on Garstang. Again, 3 1 victory for us. Came around Creef getting two goals. Liam McDavid also getting a goal again. Then we played Nelson at home and we lost by one goal. All thanks to the. the Glory and two of the winning goals, I guess, coming in the final closing minutes of the match. Which you love to see that happen, don't you? You just love it when that happens. Anyway, Kevin Moncrief scoring two goals, Liam McDavid getting one as well, regular scorers. Then we took on Daisy Hill, 1-2-1. One, one. Liam McDavid, Aidan Chippendale, again. Those two wingers, fantastic. Uh, we then had a friendly against Radcliffe. Don't care about it. And the penultimate match was against Backup, where we won by one goal. Uh, Aidan Chippendale scoring that in the 91st minute. So very, very close to actually just grabbing a draw. But we got there. We got the win. Are we going to win this one? Well, let's just get in and play it because, uh, <laughs> well, so this is how we're going to line up. Nothing new. Same as always, really. There's no need to rotate the squad at this time. It's the last game of the season. They've all played phenomenally well all game. We did have a, we did have a bit of rotation in the last match. But let's just see how other people played. And uh, as you can see by the 1-0 victory, they didn't have an amazing match. Uh, to only rescue the win in the in the closing dying minutes of the game. Alright, so kickoff today against Lower Breck. And, um, you know, even if we draw today, we, we finish on 100 points, which is pretty good, I think. Even if you ask me, just first season in charge, 100 points. Yes, we won every, nearly every game. And you'd expect that kind of amount of points. But I, th I think that was a pretty good season, all in all, so far. And I, I mean, we've still got today's match to play. We may just hold out for a draw, the way things are going. However, they have had two injuries. So, hopefully... If we can keep injuring their players, we might actually get something out of it. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy with the playing. But tell them to pull their finger out. Basically, um, I've got faith in them to do what they need to do. Let's just demand some more from them. Moncrief not having a great game today, which is kind of worrying. Uh, and Arthur is suffering a little bit from a potential knee injury. 
Let's bring Moncrief off for Greaves. Reese Jenkinson, awful today, 6.1. Let's get both those off and um, we'll see if that makes a difference. So I'm just going to let this highlight play out. Hopefully they don't score. This is not a score. Okay, it's just a corner. It was offside actually, so even better. Anyway, here we go. First meaningful highlight of the game. Go boy, that's going to be offside. Yep. That was a, that was a nice cross. But yeah, very obviously offside. Yeah, miles out. Let's see if we can do that again. But being onside would be nice. I don't actually think we're going to get much out of this. But we have got another highlight. And terrible throw by Valentine. But he picks up Lewis Boar. Healy, Hunt. Out to Gilboy. I think Valentine may have been offside. Potentially. To Arthur. You know. This is a good save to be fair. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's just going to be a draw isn't it. They've won the league. They've got promoted. They kind of stopped caring really. That there's no real need for them to go on and have amazing goal runs and you know they've they've lost their goal bonuses as well now that they've signed contracts. But Greaves tries it, doesn't get there. But we have a corner. Can we make something of it? No. Just straight at the head of a key uh, defender. It, it's, it's a boring match. We're going to leave Dan Lowther on the pitch. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to take him off. Because it doesn't matter. So we, we drew. We should have scored. I mean, look at that. 1.64 XG. We should have got at least a goal. I'm not quite sure why... I mean, Ed had a good game. Ed had a pretty good game. 7.2 for a keeper. They did only have one shot on target. I'm not going to be too rough with them. That was the last last game. Just let them off lightly. If they play like that beginning of next season, then yeah, we're in for a bit of trouble. But hopefully during the summer we can bring in some new players, refresh the squad... Maybe tweak the tactics a little bit. But yeah, there we go. We finished We finished the game and we finished the season on 100 points. Arthur's out. Yeah, Dan Loud is also injured. Um, so yeah, well now we're just going to wait and see the end of season preview. So I'll be back in just a moment and welcome back to the end of season review with Bury AFC let's look at the new arrivals Kamer Moncrief yeah uh, he, he would have to be one of the best signings of the season for me uh, without him scoring his 40 goals we wouldn't be where we are that's, that's insane uh, 19 year old 46 appearances, one as a sub, 40 goals, 7 assists, that, that's pretty good. Again, Liam McDavid, amazing, 45 appearances, 20 goals from a winger, 23 assists, that's just nuts. Aidan Chippendale, obviously he wasn't on loan from Colm at the start of the season, brought him in on a free transfer. We didn't pay anything for him, and uh, he doesn't cost a lot either. Like his wages aren't a lot, but 49 appearances, 24 goals, 17 assists. It's just, the amount of goals we scored is just insane. But, yeah, no real... I, I, I would say Kamer Moncrief is my signing of the season. But yeah, the, in terms of... The, the season we did what we were you know set out to do we won the league we got 100 points our goal difference of 61 
would have liked it if we conceded less goals. I would have loved it if we had a unbeaten season, but it just wasn't meant to be. Lower Breck, the closest behind us, scoring 90 points, 28 wins, 73 goal difference. So they obviously have the better defenders, but we made up for that with more goals, I guess. Um, so yeah, competition top score, competition top scorer came on Moncrief with 29 goals, um, which meant the other other 11 goals came outside of the league. We uh, we won the league cup for the FA Vase. We were knocked out in the semi final by Hebron Town. They actually went on to win it. So congrats. Congratulations to them, I guess. And competition top scorer came in Moncrief. So in all aspects, we met the minimum expectation and in some case even exceeded it. So moments to remember. Biggest win, 5-1 against St. Helens. That was the towards the end of the season. Uh, match to remember, beating AFC Liverpool 3-0. There. And goal of the season was for McDavid, 10 minutes in. Let's take a look at that one. So this is the goal of the season, apparently. McDavid running up the right wing. And, oh, would you look at that. Oof. That, that was... That was special. just on the on the counter attack just runs it right up the pitch and just fires it in goalkeeper tried and failed miserably so yeah uh, finances <laughs> obviously we haven't played previously right like, this is the first season for this club so obviously all of this is going to be up sponsorship five grand we got broadcast revenue. I, I, corporate and hospitality a thousand. Competition prize money thirty six point five thousand. That's good. The next season, I expect to double that, hopefully. And match day and commercial sixty grand. That's not bad. Uh, this is slightly concerning. That we haven't increased our reputation over the past season that's one of our kind of key goals as the club is to grow our reputation and to make it to the semi-final of the FA Vays to win the league cup and to win the league and not have a reputation change it's a bit of a kick in the teeth in all honesty but let's look at the uh, let's let's look at the team of the season it's the team we we love Nick, Va Nathan Valentine on. We had Ed in goal, uh, Reese Jenkinson on the left wing. Need a replacement for him. Tony Whitehead and Hunt in the middle. They're probably going to stay there next season. Nathan Valentine, another player we need to look at replacing next season. Uh, Gilboy and Lowther and Arthur at the middle three. They played well I, I guess uh, I nece I wouldn't necessarily put Lowther in there actually I would probably have put Healy there yeah I, I would have put Healy in there and then we got Chippendale on the left wing and McDavid on the right with Cameron Moncrief as our pressing forward and as you can see they had relatively good um, they, they had relatively good average ratings except bar the two right backs and the trio in midfield and the accolades Kamer Moncrief is player of fans player of the season yep agree with that young player of the season Kamer Moncrief signing of the season Chippendale the, the goal of the season we've already seen top goal scorer most assists is Liam McDavid. Man of the matches, 
came in Moncrief. Highest average rating came in Moncrief. And most completed passes per 90 minutes is Cameron Healy, who did 50 passes in 90 minutes. That's, that's pretty good. Um, so record breakers, most goals in a season. <laughs> most league goals in a season. <laughs> most goals in a, by a player in a match. Most goals by a player in a league match. So Kevin Moncrief just smashed it in front of goal this season. I know it is our first season and we can potentially see about breaking these records but that's pretty good first kind of solid season for Kevin Moncrief. Let's hope that in the step up to League 9 he can still produce like he has. That, yeah, so fastest goal also came in Moncrief, came in at 1 minute and 59 seconds, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, oldest goal scorer, who's 35 years old in 320 days, was Tom Greaves, our backup striker. So yeah, obviously we, we won uh, the cup and the league, and it was a superb season for us apparently as we backed up our credentials basically so let's look at the expectations for next season well this is interesting they want us to play defensively solid football which obviously you want a good defensive uh, back line you don't want to be conceding goals so I might I'm okay with that however this baffles me we don't play direct football we play short passing game well we play semi-direct we, we don't just lump the ball forward and make runs for it we kind of build up to it so to have this direct football kind of it doesn't sit right so we're going to negotiate and we're going to try and get rid of that and yeah I can deal with counter attacking football I'm happy with that so let's suggest it and they put it back in nope get rid of it please stop asking me to play it Yes, we don't want to play it. Oh. I don't have a choice. We have to play direct football. That's annoying. Fine, whatever. Let, let them have it. We can we try again next season. Uh, new season team report, fantastic. So I need to go away, set up the friendlies for pre-season. I need to get a bunch of players in on trial. I need to scout loads of players. I need, we need a new right back. We need a new. So hopefully when you come back for tomorrow's episode, which is the start of the new season, along with the transfer special, hopefully we're going to see a new wing back on the right and the left and potentially maybe even some new wingers as well um, but we'll see how things go but just just one final kind of one one final part of the season was all about how much money we could make we did not have a very good season financially and we need to improve that we need to be making a profit or as close to a profit on a monthly basis as possible. So making eight grand loss every month is not sustainable. So one of the key things we need to do is reduce the wage budget, but retain the quality of player. It's gonna be a challenge. And if we look at the projection, they are expecting us to be whew, very, very broke by the end of next season. Let's see if we can avoid that and actually have a positive bank balance. So 
So this may well be the last time you see this team lining up as this. So breathe it in, take it in, take a screenshot. And um, I'll see you tomorrow.